Blueberry. Blueberry. It's a pizza party. Pizza party. Yeah. Now it's my turn. Baby. I'm gonna spend this time. I'm gonna spend this time. Are they not the cutest? They didn't even like, usually they ask me to play. Usually they're like, mom, let's play a game. I'm like, okay. But today they just went and got it out and they're just playing just the two of them. They're playing pizza, Pete the Cat pizza party game. It's a really cute board game if you have little kids. Very easy to understand, very easy to play. They're so cute, they're just playing together. This is why you have more than one kid. This is why you give your kids a sibling. Good morning, you guys. It's very early in the morning. I am still wearing my pajamas, but I'm gonna vlog today. <clears throat> the reason I'm gonna vlog today is we have two very exciting things going on today. I probably will only be able to vlog one. The first thing that we have going on today is Grayson has his very first friend, friend? birthday party today one of his classmates from school invited the whole class to his birthday party so his parents rented out a shelter house at our pavilion at one of the local parks here for two hours and so i'm assuming they're just gonna have like cake and something to eat and presents under like a shelter house and then it's right next to a park and this park was actually <clears throat> recently redone. I actually haven't been to it since it's been redone, but I've taken the kids there several times to it. So the kids will be able to play at the park and celebrate this kid. Yeah, it's his first birthday party. I'm not really sure how how good of friends he is with this kid. I've probably talked about this before, but I'll say it again. In Grayson's grade, or his, I think it's the whole school, if you want to bring birthday invitations to school, you can't only invite certain people. You have to invite the whole class. So we got a envelope one day home from school and it was blank, like there was no name on it. I thought it was something for me from the teacher. When we opened it up, it was a birthday party invitation. So I'm like, how well does Grayson know this kid? Does he play with him? Is this kid nice to Grayson? I'm like, I have no idea. I don't know anything that goes on in the classroom other than what Grayson tells me. And most of what Grayson tells me is that he sits alone on the bench at school at recess. Is that true? I don't know. So I asked him, do you want to go to this birthday party? He said, yes. So we're going to go and we're going to check it out and see. I have no idea who's all going. I don't know any of the kids in his class. Well, that's not true. I know some of the kids in his class because um, he had a friend from preschool in his class and he has a friend from baseball over the summer in his class, but I have no idea if those kids are going. Like, I don't talk to their parents. So we're going to go and see, I guess. Um, I went to the store yesterday and bought this kid a gift because I'm like, he's turning six. I have no idea what six-year-olds like. I know what my kid likes, but obviously not all kids are the same. So I just played it safe and got like a little Lego set. I mean, everybody likes Legos, right? My kids do. So hopefully he likes it. If not, I mean, I don't know. It's okay. So <clears throat> I got that. We wrapped that yesterday. Grayson is so excited to give it to him. Porter, when he saw the present, thought it was for him because we've been giving him presents because it was his birthday. So he's like, oh, can I open it? I'm like, no, it's not for you. So anyway, we have that in a little bit. I don't think I'll vlog that because it's like a bunch of other kids. So that'd be kind of weird. Then this afternoon, we are going apple picking. So this is our first 
to-do list on our list of fall activities. Every year we go apple picking and every year we go apple picking to the same place because it's on this side of town, it's not too far away and it's easy. It's very expensive. You either pay for a small bag or you pay for a big bag of apple and then you fill it with as many apples as you can and i swear they increase our prices crazy every year to get apples but whatever we go for the experience and the pictures so we're gonna go um we're gonna go with a few of my family members my mom and dad and my sister and my brother and their significant others my sister allison was supposed to come she and i were really the ones who planned this whole thing as we do every year but she just had her baby ivy and ivy's not even a week old yet so they were not gonna be able to come which they're super sad about it and i'm super sad about it because it just won't feel the same i mean allison and i used to go to apple picking and pumpkin patch and all these fall activities just the two of us when we were like when my parents weren't even living in town and then like as my parents moved here and more siblings moved here like more people have joined us but it's always been like allison and i at the core and I'm missing my partner. So, super sad about it, but we're gonna go. Maybe I'll FaceTime her so she feels like she's there. Yeah, I'm super sad about it. So I'll vlog that, we'll take pictures. Super excited. This will be Avery's first apple picking experience. I'm gonna put her in the baby carrier. I actually just started wearing her in the baby carrier the last couple days, just kind of see how she would feel about it. And she loves it. I mean, she's happy, super happy in it. So I plan on putting her and just wearing her the whole time. And then the boys will just walk. So super easy. <laughs> and then I think we're gonna go out to dinner afterwards just with all my siblings who can make it. And um, it's always good to get a free meal because my parents always pay. So that's our plan for today. It's gonna be a busy day. Also, Anthony and I have been keeping very, very busy because we are doing yard work to the extreme. Anthony has gone, as I've been saying it, full on dad mode and his determined to get the best looking grass ever and so we have been taking every spare minute throughout the week and over the weekend and we have been dethatching and aerating and uh, planting overseeding and fertilizing our yard i had no idea what most of those terms were uh, when we started this and now as I've been helping Anthony, I'm a little more knowledgeable about it. So we've been basically taking a metal rake and raking up all the dead grass. We have a lot of dead grass and we think it's because we were overwatering our yard. And when Anthony was mowing, he wasn't bagging the clippings and we think that contributed to it too. I know this is riveting footage, but I don't know. It's been my life for the past week, so that's all I know. So we've been doing that and then we've been poking holes in the ground which is called aeration and that like helps nutrients get down to the soil i guess and then overseeding we're planting more grass and then fertilizing it's helping the grass grow fast i guess like this week is the week to do any sort of planting or yard work fall is the, is the best time to plant and then right now anthony says the soil temperature is the perfect temperature and we have to do it before the first frost comes because once the first frost comes then nothing will grow so it's kind of a time crunch um anthony was out there from three to nine yesterday just constantly working he was a trooper and then every um, day this week after work, he's been getting off of work and going straight out to the yard. And I've been helping him when I can, when Avery's asleep. <laughs> the boys, we could just put a show on with Avery. It's a little harder to entertain her, so I can't really help. So that's been our life, is this yard work. So I'm sure we'll do a little bit of that today too. But birthday party and apple picking, and that's what we're doing today. Are you excited to go to your birthday party today? Not my birthday party, Rocco's. Yeah, Rocco's birthday party. Yeah. What are you doing? You playing with your car? Why aren't you guys playing Pete the Cat game? You gonna dance? <laughs> Avery, can you say hi? 
I got her in her little apple outfit. Got apples all over the shirt in this cute little like velvet yellow. What would you call this? Dress? She's ready to go apple picking, huh? She's playing and look at these cute little tights. Her first tights and they have like little shoes on them. It's so cute. What do you think? Tomorrow we go for her first like checkup after getting her helmet. And so I'm expecting that maybe they'll take new pictures. Um, they'll definitely shave down some of the foam on the inside. And we'll just kind of see the progress that she's made, huh? We've been doing really good though, wearing it 23 hours out of 24 hours a day. Huh. She doesn't seem to mind it, although she does get happy when I take it off. And she also rubs her head, the back of her head, like against anything she can. I think it gets itchy. <gasps> Does it get itchy? Grayson. Ah. Grayson. Oh. What are you watching? Minecraft. Grayson's watching Minecraft. Grayson, how was your birthday party? Great. Was that fun? Yes. So yes, yeah, so we survived the birthday party. It was kind of awkward. It was about what I expected though, like a bunch of kids and their parents just kind of supervising them. It was a really cool park, Gray loved it. And he played on the playground and then they had like some coloring books for the kids to do and they could color like bookmarks. It was all Space Jam themed, I guess off of the new Space Jam movie. I've seen the original, I have not seen the new one with LeBron. Gray had no idea what Space Jam was, but I guess this kid whose birthday it was loves that movie. Um, and then they had pizza and we sang happy birthday, but it was just like, it was a very low key party. Like there wasn't much planned. It was just kind of like come for two hours, play on the playground, have some pizza and have a cupcake. So very low key, which wasn't too bad. Grayson had fun. And it, the best thing about it was he talks about all these kids in his class with all their names, but I never know like, I, I don't know what to picture when he says what their names are. So some of the kids, um, he pointed them out to me so I could, like, picture their face. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, I guess I'll just see all those kids tomorrow. I'm yawning, which reminds me, I have not had my coffee today. So I better make that because we've got about an hour until we got to go apple picking. Porter's napping right now. Avery's awake. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do like Avery's naps right now because she'll probably be ready for a nap about the time that we leave. So she's just going to have to like nap in the car or nap in the carrier, I guess. So hopefully it goes okay. Yeah, I'm excited to go apple picking. It's like a legit fall day, cloudy, little bit of wind. The high is like 72. Like it's a great fall day. I never know what we're gonna get when we go apple picking because there have been years where we've gone and it's been hot and we've all been in shorts. And then there's been years we've gone apple picking like last year when we went and we were wearing like coats. Like it was like chilly. I think it was like 60s. This year, it's kind of like in between. We're all going to wear like short sleeve shirts and longs. Yeah, just all over the place. You never know what you're going to get in Ohio. So anyway, I'm just glad that birthday party was good. Another interesting thing, um, everybody brought presents, of course, like you do for a birthday party. But the kid did not open the presents, which that is a new thing now. Um, it's actually been like a debate on a lot of moms I meet or like on TikTok. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If your kid has a birthday party, should they open presents at the birthday party? I guess it's getting more popular now to not open presents. I guess the kids who the kid whose birthday it is, they just get overwhelmed by it all. And the other kids who are like the guests at the party don't want to sit for like a half hour and watch that kid open gifts. So yeah, the kid did not uh, open his gifts. The parents just loaded them into the car. Hopefully he likes what Grayson got him. Hopefully. I guess I it kind of takes off the pressure from me because I always feel like if they're opening the present that I'm like watching their reaction to see like, do they like it? Do they not? And then did they get another one of what I gave them? So I'm, I'm almost kind of glad he didn't open gifts there. But yeah, that was kind of interesting. No, no present opening. Are you? Talking? Are you talking? What do you got to say?
you want me to video for you? Uh, he's gonna video Avery and her little carrier. Avery, 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 you want to eat an apple? <laughs> <laughs> little Avery, Avery, hi, <laughs> hi sister. Are they good? Pretty good. Yeah? She's like, huh? You want to eat this one, guy? Oh, you already had a bite. All right. Well. Oh, oh, that's okay. Well, well, I didn't get a new one. Grayson, look at me. Say cheese. I don't have my photographer of Allison here, so. I know. I didn't pictures. bring my camera either. Last oh, year I brought no. my camera. Right. Warner, what is that? Of course. You saying hi, Warner. Like the middle. Yeah, I guess not. Or is it a pony? Well, it looks kind of tiny, so maybe it is a pony. Porter's trying to feed it. Nope, you're not supposed to feed the animals. Look at all these pumpkins! Yeah. Look at all these pumpkins! Ah, oh, Porter found a tractor! Avery's getting a massage by Porter. She just got out of the bath, hence no helmet right now. And I'm putting lotion on her as I always do. And Porter wanted to join me. So he's putting some lotion on her belly. Grayson, what happened to your shirt? Why aren't you wearing a shirt? Because I chewed on my shirt. Yeah, we're having an issue right now with Grayson chewing on shirts. And I don't know what to do about it. So I made him take his shirt off so he cannot chew on it anymore. But it's a daily occurrence. So it's actually the next day. Um, I didn't vlog anything after apple picking. Actually, I think the last clip I have is us singing happy birthday to my sister-in-law, Ellie. It was her birthday a couple days, actually a couple weeks ago. And then the craziness happened and um, we weren't able to celebrate her. We brought a little cake and had dinner and it was actually not a great dinner for my family at least. Avery had a blowout and she puked all over Anthony. Um, and then the service was super bad and super slow and all the kids were having a meltdown by the end. And yeah, it was just, it was all over the place, but it's okay. We got over it and it, the kids had a blast apple picking. They loved it so much. Um, I took a couple clips. I have um, pictures. I'm sure I probably put in this video. The kids loved it, had a blast. Avery loved just like being held the whole time. Um, Porter was pumped because they had little tractors that you could sit on, um, like old, really old tractors that aren't in use anymore. And he was loving sitting on those and pretending to drive it. And Grayson sat on them too. They loved it. So it was great. It was like a perfect fall day. It was like low 70s, cloudy, perfect weather. Um, never know what you're going to get for that apple picking but it was great and um check that off of our list so the next thing is the pumpkin patch we're gonna go mid-october to the pumpkin patch so we are definitely gonna get that in too i will probably close out this vlog i did want to mention one thing before i close out this vlog today i took avery for her first follow-up appointment for her helmet so we got her helmet 10 days ago today and they want to see us every well for the first two times they want to see us every seven to ten days and then once babies turn six months old their head actually grows at a slower rate so once she turns six months old which is on saturday we will start going every two weeks instead of like seven to ten days so we went today and i didn't get any clip because it was so fast they basically pulled up an old image of like the first scans they took of her head and then they put like a sock net on her um hair to kind of get like an outline shape of her head to kind of compare it and they said they did see some progress with avery's head um it looks like it's uh, rounding out a little bit at the back so they did make an adjustment to her helmet i kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like i don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera i hope it does 
but they shaved off a little bit of the inside because it was actually starting to get snug and they want to give more room for the head to grow back that's the whole reason of wearing this helmet so i'll see if i can um show you guys okay so i don't know maybe you can tell so they shaved this portion of the helmet you can kind of tell because it's like white compared to this is kind of getting gross because she wears it 23 hours a day but yeah so they shaved off this portion so it's a little more rough feeling um than the smoothness of here so they shaved it back here and then they also shaved a little portion you can't even really see it's not focusing you, they also shaved a little bit up front, although it's very hard to focus on. So anyway, this is the front of the helmet. So they did a little bit of the back. Sorry, it's like not focusing. I don't know what's up with my phone right today. And then a little bit of the front, just to kind of make more room. So she's doing her one hour break right, right now, hence why I did the bath and I sanitized the inside of the helmet. It's definitely starting to like discolor, which they said would happen. Um, I guess if you put it in the sun, it helps, except today's a cloudy day. It's actually been raining most of today, so I haven't been able to do that. And they said you can spray it with, like, Fresh Wave, which I've never heard of. I guess some kind of, like, Febreze type thing. The smell isn't too bad yet. I've heard it gets bad. Um, I'm trying to be diligent about really getting it with the 70% isopropyl alcohol. Like I wasn't able to get to it yesterday because we were so busy with apple picking and dinner and all that. Yeah, anyway, I just wanted to update you about that. We go back um, in eight days from today. So next Tuesday, we'll go and get another update on Avery's helmet. But they're very encouraged by what they see. She's been tolerating the helmet really well, which is awesome. Yeah, we'll just keep keep going until they tell us that it looks good. So anyway, I just wanted to close out that vlog, close out this vlog. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know when I'm going to vlog next, but just stay tuned because more vlogs will be coming at ya. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, baby. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.